Hello guys, Voices here. We just did this whole thing to set up this intro. Don't worry about it. And today we're going to be doing our updated killer tier list with John here. Hi. Because uh, he's higher level than me. Gives more insight. Okay. Uh, uh, so yeah, we have all... What is it? I turn the music real quick so I can one, actually two, hear you. Or, uh, 1, 8, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 23 killers here. And I decided to actually open up Dead by Daylight for this. Because I feel like it's just so much easier to do it live. And I might edit it and put fucking killers on the tier list and everything, you might see it. Probably not though, so you're just gonna have to follow along and get your notebooks out. We're gonna start from Trapper and we're gonna make our way uh, just down the list. I have my notes open on my note app here. We have, so right now we have we have S tier, we have A tier, we have B tier, we have C tier, or C tier, we have D tier, and we have F tier. Uh, we're gonna start with Trapper. Trapper is uh, by far, uh, I'd, I'd say maybe the second, my second least favorite ki killer to play besides um, Freddy, but we're going off skill here. Uh, I just think Trapper, I don't think is F tier, mainly on the fact that he's better than tr uh, Trickster, but I am going to put Trapper in D tier. Now, the reason I'm putting Trapper in D tier is that he has, it's like playing Transit on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. He has just the longest setup time of any killer in this game. On top of that, when you set up, it's not exactly the strongest of setups. Um, and for Trapper, you are basically required to run a bag add on. If you're not, you are on some serious crack. I, I don't play much Trapper, as you can see, he's level 17. But, I mean, you could take my word for it, Odd Starve. I don't necessarily agree with Odd Starve on a lot of things. You take Odd Starve's play with, word with it, he plays, he's on Trapper main too. I mean, I, I don't necessarily just think I just don't think Trapper has really any oppression whatsoever. He, he's not necessarily that good in a chase too, and a chase is just an M1 killer. The whole main idea of Trapper is to just how does someone run into your trap? Now, I mean that's the main idea of Hag. But when we come to Hag, I might just let John explain that one because he's a Hag player. Yeah. When we come to Hag, when it comes to Hag, Trapper and Hag play so much differently. Mainly on the fact that Trapper is required to run an add-on, and he doesn't start with all of his traps. Hag starts with 10 traps. This guy requires... Patchy, stop crying. Or my dog next to me. Stop crying. Trapper requires all your add-ons. Or, all, like, Trapper is so add-on reliant. I, I just can't see him being above D tier. I'm not going to put him in F tier, because it's not Trickster, which we'll get to later. But, I mean, John, do you have anything you want to talk about on that? Oh, uh, the thing with me. Trapper is that... Sometimes the traps are very obvious, but... Even if a trap's obvious, that can still help if, like trying to divert a survivor away from that certain loop. But the thing about Trapper is, 9 times out of 10, that's what's going to happen. You're not actually going to get the trap. And if that, if they run away from that loop, sure, you might get a hit, but odds are they're either, either going to make it to another loop, or they're going to have dead hard. And then make it to that another loop anyway. That is that's just true. my two cents okay. from my experience playing Trapper. So, uh, so John, do we both agree on the D tier placement? Uh, yeah. That's an D. D tier I don't think board. he's bottom of D, but I don't really... Uh, somewhere in D. D tier for, oh yeah, someone, someone else is bottom of them. Moving on, we got the Wraith. Oh man, Wraith is one of my favorite killers. Can you stop crying? Wraith is one of my favorite killers to play. I'd say maybe third, fourth. Uh, uh, but that doesn't mean he's good. What I will do is I will put Wraith above, above Trapper, and I will put Wraith in C tier. Now this is... A little different from my regular tier list. I'm not sure if it is or not. But I did say this is an update killer tier list. What I think is different from Wraith, and mainly on the fact, is that I feel like I didn't give Wraith enough pre like pressure or like enough, like, um, what's it called? Enough credit on his ability to, um, to have map control. What I think is incredible from Wraith is that he really does have that map control after just because he got buffed and now he moves at, what is it, John? 150% movement speed. 150% movement speed. Always. So now you're not required to run his, what is it, windstorm? Storm. Now you're not required to run his windstorm add-ons. Which is great. That's incredible. But Swift Hunt is still kind of required. You still really need to run Swift Hunt in most circumstances. In fact, most of his add-ons that are good are common and uncommon. Bone Clapper is an incredible add-on. Uh, Ghost is a great add-on. Like basically any add-ons that uh 
cloak your bell or anything like that. Make you a lot. No. Make your stealth better or good add-ons to run. But most of the time, you're mainly going to still want to run Windstorm for that extra map pressure, just so you can like obtain that 4K if you're going for that better. If you're going for like just safety pipping or pipping, then I don't really think Windstorm matters that much. And if that's the case, so I'd rather maybe go with. Uncloaking faster, or let me let me look at his add-ons real quick. Actually, while you're doing that, I'll keep any more on my thing. Um, uh, yeah, so ma you mainly just want to do reappearance time and windstorm add-ons. I think those are still his best add-ons to run. Now, this is my this is a little different from it because I I think he's a little better than the D tier placement. I put him in um in my original tier list. I will move him up to C. Just because I didn't also neglect the factor that Super Lunge is incredible, and I, I think Super Lunge is probably the only reason why I'd move above to C. Just because, like, his map control is cool and all, but, like, his stealth, not that good. Map control is okay, but that Super Lunge can end loops incredibly fast if you know how to use Super Lunge. Super Lunge is incredibly oppressive. I genuinely think, NIP's up 6-0 to Team Liquid, jeez. I genuinely think Super Lunge might be one of the the best things and strongest things in this game. Now, that's just me, but... Uh, do you have anything to say on it? Uh, my main thing with Wraith is that I think you should play him as kind of like a hit-and-run build. I think that's... I think that's still his... I think True Talent's right. That's his best... That's the best way of playing him and really all stealth killers. You don't want to spend too much time because then you lose that map pressure. And even if you lose a little bit of that by chasing a survivor for extra... For longer than you should, the uh, increased movement speed can help you slightly recover from that. Uh, I, I, so, I mean, are we both in agreement of C tier, yeah, or would you put him lower? Okay, C tier. Moving on to Hillbilly. Oh man, I got so I got. A if this was I before the, uh, if this was before like the update to him, I would easily put him A tier. But and this is after the update to him. I'd still put him A tier. Yeah. He still has okay, insane map so control. Makes, um, what makes Billy uh, good? Let John explain it. Let's let John explain it, because he, he's good at this. Yeah, he still has insane map control with his chainsaw, which you're mainly going to be using the chainsaw to get around. Because most of the time, you're just going to still end up hitting m wanting them if they're at, like, a loop or something. Unless you can, unless you're, like, good and you can, you can get those cur curves, but... Nine times out of ten, for me anyway, I'm not the best skill Billy player, but... Well, I'm not the best hillbilly either. I'm only level 34, but even yeah. I still think. The but the map pressure really he has is still insane. Is in, still insanely good. And he, yeah, he overheats now, but like you're barely, rarely ever going to overheat. It's actually, it's actually kind of a challenge to overheat with hillbilly now. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Um, so I actually think. I can get a lot more insta downs with Billy than I do Bubba, and that's mainly on the fact of just the fact that he has map control. If Bubba had map control, I'd put him with Billy, but the fact that Billy has that map control, I feel like I am able to just get, what's it called? Just get insta downs, winging the fact that I can catch survivors off guard compared to someone like Bubba that has to walk up the survivor, get behind them, rev chainsaw, break a pallet. Now, they're at a jungle gym. What does Bubba gotta do? Run around the jungle gym. Oh, what's that? They can vault the pal they can vault windows faster than Bubba can get around, even at his maximum speed. Well, shit. Now you gotta keep looping, keep looping. Billy catches them off guard. Now they have to drop a pallet. Now, nine times out of ten, do that speed. They're not gonna be able to make it to that jungle gym. They might have to run away due to Billy's increased movement speed compared to Bubba with this chainsaw. If Bubba had a faster movement speed, I know people were saying Bubba can catch up to Spin Pierce without any add-ons. Doesn't matter. Billy's faster than Spin Burst without any add-ons. Yeah, and besides the sprint burst, like, yeah, Bubba could probably catch up, but, like, they're still probably going to be at a pallet or a window by at that point. But we'll, exactly. we'll talk more on that when Pallets, we get to Pallets, windows, when we get killer shot, jungle gyms, anything. So I think Billy is an easy A tier. Uh, instant out potential as well. We really didn't talk about that, but, you know, back Like, if I was better at uh, Billy, then, like, yeah. I would, I would probably be I, I genuinely don't know why. People, I don't know why Ots put him at C. I, I genuinely can't. I don't know why. I don't think he's C. It was after really the rework. Don't. Yeah, his add-ons got changed, but, like, who cares? Add-ons aren't really everything. He was still good without yeah. any add-ons. Yeah, and even some so, of his I mean, best add-ons, like I, the uh, fucking, what are they called? The, um, do, the engraving add-ons, they're still the exact same thing. 
Well, I mean, so John, are we both in agreement of uh, A? Yeah, A. Definitely not top of A, but I don't think bottom of A either. No, definitely not top of A. Definitely not. But he's in A. Yeah. I, I don't think any. I think anybody that disagrees with me is just. Well, I mean, I feel like anybody that disagrees with me is just blatantly wrong because this is my tier list, my opinion, and kind of John's opinion. Yeah, our opinion is facts, by the way. Everything I every every opinion I hold is objectively correct. Okay, now moving on. Imagine the nurse. You okay, now we're gonna watch. Now we're gonna talk about the hag. So the hag is. Do we really have to talk about nurse? <laughs> like, like I don't like. Okay, wait, uh, hold on. I got this. Nurse. Nurse is S tier, and here's why. She nurse is a nurse. F, what are you talking about? Okay, moving on. <laughs> so why is nurse S tier? Uh. You know, teleport, go. Yes. So yeah. Uh, yes. Anybody that disagrees with that, yeah, if anybody that doesn't put nurse in S tier, I, I, what fucking drugs are you on? Like seriously. Oh, okay, well, actually, on, she hack. has the lowest ring rate of any killer. Yeah, yeah, shut, fuck the fuck shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up immediately. All right, Hag. John, I play a lot of Hag, but you play more Hag. I than your ain't Hag. Mean, hag. So explain. My baby girl. Um. Yeah. So Hag, like. A lot, well, a lot, what I see a lot of people do with Hag is, uh, especially starting off, uh, time, first time. play this game is that they try to chase the You can't do that. If you actually take the time to chase, to, uh, set up your traps, and then chase survivors, then if you can get, like, a good web, especially in a 3 gen, like, that's disgusting. It's going to be almost impossible for the survivors to win. And I know the counter to where if you're a good swift of like all flashlights, urban invasions, and like, yeah, you're gonna have a harder time. But the main thing with Hag, you you can't lose your composure. Like if you see Survivor start setting up all of your traps, like don't. The main thing, do not teleport to your traps every single time. Be unpredictable. Which like, yeah, sure, that's for every killer, but it's Hag. Let's say you have a trap at a like a, a standard long wall jungle gym. If the survivor runs over to that trap, then don't teleport to it immediately. Wait, like, half a second to one second to see what they're going to do. If they keep running, go ahead and teleport and you get the hit. If they run back, obviously don't teleport and hit them. If they try to go somewhere else, then... Depending on what that somewhere else is, go off of that when you're teleporting or chasing them. Uh, the best, um... Like... And if... You're chasing one survivor, and across the map, someone steps off your trap. Do do not teleport to that trap. That's that's a lost cause. That trap's gone. Uh, especially like if they start setting up hag. all of your traps. Like, don't don't teleport to a trap that you know. If you're chasing a survivor and someone else teleports to the trap, unless that trap's like on a gen that's that like you know for a fact is at ninety percent, don't teleport to it. Um, and if so, they and if they uh, set off all your traps, then what you should do. Down the survivor you're chasing, and then leave him on the ground for a little bit. Trap around the area you down them, then pick him up, hook him, trap the hook, and then go out, and then make a new web. That's really it's supposed to be like an exclamation of her power. Like what? Like John just gave us like a full-on fucking just like thing. <laughs> this is John. He's got the big brain. John basically explains everything. He's got the big brain. He's got how, John. How many days do you have locked into this game? Like uh, I have uh I have two thousand hours in this game. Okay, let me go check days. The stream's gonna pause real quick. Hold on. It's like seven. In the, I started playing this game like when Clown or Spirit was added. Okay, John, I have a month. You have three months. Okay. And then right. add uh, add bag, just like there's only a select few bad add ons. I mean, I'm and there's like the, uh, this, I'm only rank four because shield. we reset bullshit with the glitch and moving back to rank nine RIP. But yeah. In fact, I think it are only bad add ons are waterlog shoe and scarred hand. Bro, what are you talking about? Buddy blocker hag best hack. Okay, so everyone I think is in agreement of hag being S tier. Anyway, that doesn't think hag is S tier. Dear lord, dude, get some. I mean, she's nowhere. She's even she's like nowhere near nurse or. Nurse. You know, another well, specific spirit killer. Well, spirit is kind. Oh yeah, well, I think we'll just. I think okay. Well, yeah, I think we're both in agreement for us here. Yeah. Okay. S. Oh gosh, doctor. Uh. <laughs> Where do I put doctor? M might handily be the most annoying killer to go up against. 
I, in my opinion, I find Clown to be more. Clown's not good, yeah. but I find him to oh, be also, more. Oh, also, if you made it this far, we are live. Twitch.tv slash SOS L voices L. We're live. Hi. So, um. Yes, go do that, even though I'm myself I'm not following. Uh, but who cares? You're not following? You're an asshole. <laughs> um. So, Doctor. I play a lot of Doctor. I don't know how much Doctor John. Please? I mean, so I play. I play a good bit of Doctor. He's like not one of the killers I put on my like daily rotation, but more of like okay, a weekly. Okay, well, I put him on my daily thing. rotation. I put him on my daily rotation. So, Doctor. All right. Uh, what I think of Doctor. Doctor might be the most. Um, I think he's the killer that I feel like I panic the most against. I know Frosty. Guys, don't worry about it. Doctor, I, there's something about Doctor. When I'm going up against the Doctor, there's just something about it. It was just like when I get shocked at Pal, I'm just like, okay, I have to remind myself to keep composure and that I need yeah, to either find a new keep loop or like, okay. the Doctor's going to get hit because once you get shocked, you have like yeah. half a second to choose what you're going to do before the Doctor's on your ass and gets the hit. I just, I just think like compared to most killers, Doctor might be the most like terrifying killer to go up against, like genuinely. Um. Tino you know, walls are basically that useless hard. against Doctor. I mean, exactly. if you know how to run Tino you know, walls, walls are anyway, useless. Then, like, but sort of. Eye walls are useless. Uh, jungle gyms are still, like, usable. Killer Shack becomes a lot harder. But it's still usable. Yeah. Killer Shack's still usable. If they drop that God Pallet early, then... They're still, they're still gonna gain a lot of distance, depending on where the Shack is facing. Yeah, and NIP shouldn't have won the fucking world champions. That's bullshit. They started off with a point. That's stupid. They only won two maps. It's 2-2 two -two right now in my heart. So anyway, wh what I think of Doctor is that I, 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 even though his ability can be oppressive, at the same time, his map control, despite Shock Static Blast, is very, very lacking. Doctor's whole ability is to end chases, which is good. Problem is, it's the end and start chase. You really don't have anything for map control. Doctor's ability ends, end sh start chases and end chases. The only thing that Doctor has is Madness Three, really. Madness Three. Even then, like you just stand still for what is it, ten seconds? I think it's like eight, eight to ten seconds or something like that. And the skill checks aren't that yeah, hard to hit either. Well, they're not that hard, but I, if he had more map control, I'd put him in A. But does, due to the fact that he's on map control, I gotta put him in D, or I mean B. But the Doctor still is um, an incredibly oppressive um, killer in chases, if you know how to use him correctly. Um, if you don't know how to use Doctor, and you're panicking, running around like an idiot, just trying to zap people at every chance. If you're just trying to zap people at every pallet chance, you're doing something wrong, you need to reconsider your abilities. You can't zap at every... Fucking pallet. And add-on wise, that are kind of pretty stupid. solid add-ons. I mean, of course, these add-ons might be. I think Iridescent King might be one of the best add-ons in the game. Yeah. Not the best, but one of the best. Yeah. Uh, John, do you guys? I feel like Iridescent King is slept on. Uh, any notes? I mean, I mean, at least Doctor. Uh, is fine to play. I don't know. I can't really add on to All anything. Right, that, can't get some mess here. All right. So, in the green, it's a B. Yeah, B. All right, so so far we agree. That's gonna change very soon. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> we have some very uh, different opinions on a few killers. <sighs> okay, I need to quickly check something. Hold on. My sister is going up. Okay, good. So, sorry, my sister's diabetic. I just gotta check on her. All right. Um, moving on. Uh, Michael. All right, I, I have so many things to say about Michael. Michael's not that bad, guys. Please listen to me. So far, if you haven't been listening, uh, Trapper is D tier, Wraith is C tier, Doctor is B, Nurse is S, and Hag is S. If you're not listening, Billy get your a. fucking notebooks out because I am. Oh yeah, Billy's A. Sorry, I am too lazy to um to probably edit this video. But if I did, actually, Michael, I uh, actually have see. like a tier list up. Yeah, I, I have my actual tier list up, but I, I just wanted John to be here for this one, so. Myers, I, please, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, okay? Myers is not trash here, okay? Listen to me. Myers, he's fucking beat here. And listen to me why. I 100% agree that Myers' ability is lackluster. Yes. I 100% agree. I love the killers is besides, like, Trapper. I think he has, like, the most boring ability. You watch people. I agree. He, he, he can be he can be generous. I completely agree with you. However, Myers add-ons 
out of all the add-on sets in the game, Meyer's add-ons might be the best to benefit his power. Yeah. I like, King's own piece just is... It, it should be illegal. It's... It should be illegal. I mean, oh, that's right. I have, a, uh, I have a black I have the way a black it is, but, you know. Now, listen to me on this. I don't know why people will not say this. And I'm going to say it right now. We said it earlier. If you can get to tier 3 as Myers, that is the most. I don't care. And the only killer that I can possibly see being more oppressive than a tier 3 Myers is a hag who has the three gen, which all three survivors are in, or all four survivors are injured in, in that three gen area over 10 la layers of traps. That is the only other killer in the game that I can see being more oppressive. Because hag has, I think, besides Myers at tier three, hag is the only killer that I think has the ability, besides maybe plague and corrupt, to just snowball insanely. Myers is. Meyer's snowball is just so incredibly insane that I can't do it justice. No killer, but like I said, besides Hag with everyone being injured. No, no killer with every survivor being healthy in this game without the perk knowing. Cannot, with their power, just utterly just snowball into oblivion. And no one's not even that good of a perk. He's got John. Um, Myers, I think what people don't understand is I heard Myers can be looped effectively. Like I said, I heard an argument. Myers can be looped effect as effectively as any killer. That's not true. Myers has two things going at tier three. Longer lunge, but here's the kicker that makes Myers insane. He has a faster vault speed. That is utterly... Uh, uh, go up against a bamboozle. All right? Yeah. That is oppressive. Take yeah. that, give that boost to Myers, but then give him the ability to also run bamboozle off that. Myers has a free bamboozle per per uh, like or boost at like um tier three, and I'm pretty sure he already vaults faster than those killers at tier two. And if I can just say this, the fact they even have tier three makes it so the survivors have to play differently. They can't get greedy. They kind of have to drop pallets exactly. early sometimes. They really do. Myers might be so absurdly oppressive at tier three, which is why I give him, which is why I give him. Yes, it is. It is. He is so bad at tier one. Yes, he's normal at tier two, but tier three might is just so utterly oppressive that when people give him D tier, I have to think unless they are gem rushing, I do not see how we can possibly be D tier. I don't agree with thoughts. I don't agree with so many players. I don't agree with so many people on this. Myers is so utterly oppressive at tier three. It's shocking. Now here's the thing. I still think he's the second. Like, I don't think... I think he's the second most panicking killer. I think Doctor is still... Doctor and Chase is still more panicking than Myers in Tier 3. I will say that. But Myers at Tier 3 is terrifying. Even if they get four... Like, even if they just pop three gens, if you get Tier 3 down on one person, even if you have no add-ons, that's 60 seconds of them where like, like, okay, we have to play completely differently. We cannot rush this hook or we will all die. That is 60 seconds at base without any add-ons that they have to play differently. And you are basically... But Jesus for 60 seconds and one minute it may not seem like that much but in the grand scheme of dead by daylight even like half a second is like all the time for a killer even a survivor save the best for last which is what i think is one of the most perks can save you maybe like two seconds and a lot of times it can save your ass yeah people don't realize how good save this for last is especially on an in one killer like michael yeah yeah and on hag john do you have anything yeah. to say off this uh, do I think that he had, that his early game can be bad? Yes. Like, what a lot of people don't understand is that, as Myers, no. yes, you can stalk from far away, but stalking from far away is slower than actually getting up right up to the survivor's ass He's and staring, and staring at it. And then, boom, you're going to get to, like, tier one, like, five seconds, if even that. They aren't coming back yet. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I, 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 I seriously just don't agree with people when they put my eyes in D. I genuinely do not agree. I mean, do I think? I, just, I don't think he's A tier. It definitely not S tier. I would I say either top of C or bottom of B. I put him in a solid B spot. I probably put him. I don't. I just don't think he's on like the level of Wraith. I just think he's better. I'm gonna give him B. Yeah, that's where I put him. All right. Who's next? I actually don't know. And I'm gonna I'll get so them. much. I'm gonna get so many arguments off that. Shut the fuck up, okay? I, this is an opinion-based tier list, and my personal experience is at rank one, which I've been at for over 115 levels, I think. 
Uh, yeah, no, 275, technically, you're gonna probably, someone's probably gonna be like, hey, you're 275, huh, fucking nerd. Yeah, John's like, what, John, what level are you? I don't even know. He's like 800, so, you know. Um, so, I mean, I mean I'm just pushing 9, so basically, I'm oh, okay, technically now, level 989. Okay, so take 900 cheese, John. So take his opinion for it. He's got three months of clock since the game, I got a month. Uh, I can still end this. Huntress, um... Huntress! Sheesh! Uh... Huntress is... Oh, man. Punch, uh, uh, going against a good Huntress is actually kind of terrifying. It is kind of terrifying, but... I'd turn A. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think she's no quite questions. there at S tier. For A tier, I put her above Billy, though. Definitely. Yeah, uh, just because she got her iridus and head reworked might be one of the reasons I put her in A, but still, even without the rework, I'm honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I really wasn't that terrified of iridus and head entrances even before the rework, because it basically required them to be forced on to an add-on. And, and, and besides, is, um, just because you have iridus and head doesn't mean you're a god huntress, like, for iridus and head to get good value anyway, you had to be a good huntress anyway. If you were no, still bad, it's not like that would have helped. I mean, it would help with learning, yeah, I guess, if you're but... you Huntress with like, no. in head, before the nerf, you were fucking terrifying. Now, after the nerf, it's one in the chamber. But this is so... not about Iridus and Head, this is about Huntress. Uh, as for yeah, other add-ons, they're pretty good, and the flight speed add-ons uh... are actually surprisingly pretty good. But, but, I mean, I she's, she's a killer with ranged abilities, which is automatically makes her strong. I don't have the best build on her. Uh, she was really the first Huntress. range ability to learn the game. I believe, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I, I mean, I guess solid, nurse and solid hat, 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 but... to be honest to me, though. But I mean, I, it's just the fact that she has the... The fact that she can down survivors without, like... And, like, people say that attempts. Deathslinger's uh, uh, chain can go it's through small mine. cracks. Oh, I don't think people realize One that second. Huntress can also... Second. You should just talk about it, John. Yeah. I, I, they think, don't think people realize that Huntress Hatches can also also have a fairly small hitbox. Like, a lot of people say, like, if a hatchet comes flying out, you're just like, oh my god, that shouldn't have hit. That hatchet hitbox is so big. It's actually not that big. You can, you can make some pretty, like, what's the word? You can hit through small windows. And there's a lot of them that even I didn't know until, like, fucking, even today, I just learned of, like, one thing I did not know you could hit through. There's so many things that, uh, Huntress can hit through that people just don't realize. Right. Um. And as for, like, getting cross-map hatchet snipes, like, mainly that's just, for that, it's technically still just luck to see how quickly the survivor will react. At like a short loop, a short wall loop, like the ones you see on like Auto Haven or like, yeah, Auto Haven, you can just hit over the things. And it's really easy as long as you're patient and you and you really know how to predict a survivor. You can like get a put down on that. Fuck phone, stop. You can like get easy downs with Huntress, especially uh, up close. Right. That, okay, I'm back. All right, good. So I would have to sit here in silence forever. All right, thankfully you're not Eric. Yeah. Uh, Hunter's eighth tier. Yeah. Agreements. Okay. I All right, Bubba. All right, motherfuckers. Here we go. The one killer I got the most hate for on my tier list. Bubba. I'm going to say it loud and proud. Bubba is fucking dog shit. Is he better than what he used to be? Well, fucking yeah. no shit. But is he is still he good? that good? Hell no. no. You can you can do more mind games with him. I I, I mean I guess that's something. Just... You can do more. All right, here we go. Uh, here we go. Oh my goodness, John, you 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 just started off. You just started off. You go ahead. The thing with you Bubba, he's still off. like yes, he can chainsaw for longer. And that's all well and good until you realize he has the same exact weaknesses as he did before. Is uh, you can survivors are still going to be able to get to pallets, drop down pallets, fucking get to windows easily. Um, if you're like doing a chainsaw well, sweep, 
And then even well, let's like, see. Let's like let's let's okay, hear one of the arguments I heard. Okay, let's um, right, let's imagine this scenario. Oh, There's a thing working on a generator. You're about thirty meters away. She sees you before like, in your she sees you and slightly hears your terror radius. You start chasing her. Let's say that this thing is a little is a little cocky. Okay, stays on the gen for a little bit longer. Let's say two seconds longer. Now you're like twenty four meters away. Or whatever. And then she starts running to kill her shack. Once you're there, like, cool. Okay, you kind of just have to chase it normally. And yeah, that's just like now? one of many scenarios. Let's say if they run to a TNL wall. I mean, a TNL wall. As long as you run it right, she's not really going to be able to get good fast faults. But really, because of how long it takes for the chainsaw to completely charge up and actually start sweeping... She's likely going to be able to get the medium ball anyway, so you kind of just have to M1 her. And when you do that, she just gets a speed boost and runs away. So why do I think... Uh, so why do I think dog... Well, he's dog shit, okay? okay? Let's take this into consideration. Bubba can catch up to Sprint Burst with no add-ons. Do you know what else? Do you know what else most people are going to run to with Sprint Burst? Jungle Gyms, Eye Walls, TNLs, Killer Shack, every fucking possible loop in the game... Bubba is terrible at every single. I cannot think of one loop in this game besides maybe sh long short walls where you have that pallet in the middle. There's one long wall to your left and there's one long wall to your right that he's meh at. Just because if you can get him on the short walls, you'll be forced. You'll have them be forced to drop a pallet. Bubba has literally no map pressure, no oppression. The only thing Bubba has going for him is that he's meh in a chase. He's great at camping. He is great at camping, and that's it. I heard it. Let's. I'm going to read off some of the arguments I got on my, on my, on my video. I'm going to read off some of the arguments, and I'm going to have John. I'm going to have John. I'm going to okay. counter-argue them. Okay, here you go. But, bro, he is literally the most oppressive chaser in the game, not named Nurse. Uh, n no. Do spirit. they know how to use the word oppressive? Spirit. Spirit exists. There you go. There you go. That, oh, automatic. I don't even need to say any more on that. Spirit. Ne next one. He can catch up to a sprint burst without add-ons. He shreds pallet fast and eight killer, not named Demogorgon. He has the strongest unhooked denial in the game. Yeah, what cool. You can, to say is, you can break pallets easily. Cool. Good for Baba. Do you know what else? Do you know what else can do that? Spirit can ignore pallets. Nurse can ignore pallets. Bite breaks pallets. Hailbilly breaks pallets. Some killers want like, pallets. who cares? Some They're still going to be able theory. to get Some to another loop, and all you're going to be able to do at most is M1 them. He has the strongest unhooked denial in the game. Wow, you can face camp. Wow, so are you admitting to the fact that Bubba's bad and you need to stop unhooks? Is that what you're trying to say? That you need to sit there at a, at a fucking hook and wait I... for someone to go and hook him and face camp as Bubba? Is that what you're trying to say? I agree with you with that. He's the strongest. I mean, we're by game. no way, it... we're by no means saying that face camp is a bad strategy. Hell, I do it. It's I do not. it it's if a I need it's to. A great, it's a great strategy. And yeah, you can, he can but... deny that. So the easiest option for as far as is just do gens get out. At most, you're getting one kill. If the survivors are actually smart, which, I mean, most of the time they're not, but, just saying. Okay, okay, so here, here's something bad. He can catch up to a sprint with add-ons. Uh, we already talked about that one, that one's stupid. Yeah. No, uh, I, he says, Bubba is a lot more threatening on most loops. He's not. He's just blatantly not. Billy I mean, the fact that he has an Instadon is the only thing he has going for him, but even then, the survivors, a good Bubba. survivor knows that it really poses almost no threat. So, Billy is more oppressive on Killer Shack. He's, mo he's most more oppressive on Jungle Gyms. He's more oppressive on Eyeballs. He's more oppress oppressive on TNLs. The he only is... thing that Billy is not oppressive on is, like, I'd say, you take Batman in preschool. You know, like, that fucking, like, just cars I around fucking hate preschool, Batman preschool Billy. that just have those pallets, and there's just a yeah. car that you can run around, run around, run around. Bubba's way better at that. I will say those. Bubba's way better at doing those. Yeah. Doesn't mean he's good. He's good at stopping one loop. Wow. Like, here, let's let's make up another Claps scenario. To Bubba, man. Another another comparison between Bubba and Billy. So this time we're playing as Billy. Another Fang. I don't know why I'm choosing Fang. You just just go with it. Fun. We're at a TNL wall on We're at we're at a TNL wall, alright? Billy, let's say you're playing as Billy. The survivor's on one end. You're on the end with the long wall, oh, the T, the T part. 
Terraria's on the complete other side, and you're there. You hide your red stain, moonwalk back, with your chainsaw revving, and then you go around the corner, and then you'll be able to down them if you're fast enough, and they don't have good- they don't have insane reflexes. And even then, you're gonna be right next to them, you'll be able to get the M1. Now let's, ima now let's imagine the same exact scenario with Bubba. You do that, you start your chainsaw, even, like, let's- let's say you even moonwalk backwards with Bubba, sweeping your chainsaw. They're gonna have enough time to react, to go to the other side, and completely negate what you're doing. And if they decide to stop moonwalking and go forward again, they'll see that red stain. Turn around, well, they they can tell what you're doing. It's not that hard. Yeah, g genuinely, Bubba has to be possibly th th the worst. Besides, besides a killer named Twins or Trickster, which I still put Twins in F tier, and you're gonna hate me for that too, and I have to go and talk about that. But Bubba, I I might put Bubba below Trap and Clown. I Bubba has to be one of the the worst killers ever unless you're willing to use every single like three tokens every single loop because even then you might force a pallet at some loops at eye walls at eye walls if you use all three tokens you will not get the down if the survivor's good i promise you you will not get the down if a survivor's good at eye walls Jungle and gyms, short walls and long walls you will not get the down promise you and let's say you're using let, let's say with it as i'm playing as bubba and we're using my build my build is Besides barbecue, the really only perks that matter are bamboozle, enduring, and spirit fury. Let's say you're at the killer shack. Let you bamboozle go. window. Cool. So I can just run to a new one anyway. Um, you might get an M1 hit that way, but yeah. Um, no maps, you're not. No maps. No maps. There's yeah. The survivors are. Rubble. Despite the killer being faster, survivors have what more than enough time to react to a killer coming, unless they're like insanely cocky rank twelves. And then let's say you have Spirit Fury Endurance. Okay, I can kind of see that, but not every Bubba's going around Spirit Fury Enduring. And once they, the first time you use Spirit Fury Enduring, they're going to start dropping pallets early. And boom, basically nothing. You'll get one down Bubba with the chainsaw useless. with that. And that's only because, like... But they're still going to expect you to have this, because it's like, probably the best build on Bubba. So if you if you're not paying attention, we're putting Bubba in the agreed category of D of D tier. Not That's F. He, he, he still has some. He still has some things going for him. Um, I did put him above Trapper, in my opinion. Yeah. In my well, personal actually, opinion, I put him above Trapper. Trapper. In my opinion, I put him below him, but uh, yeah. Just, but still, D tier. Like, no, 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 no. Doesn't matter who he's below or under. He's still D tier. Nothing yeah. changed to that. So, that is, yeah, Bubba's. Okay, moving on. My mom just texted me. She wants to know if I want to buy some things. She's got, she's called this really cool Phoenix Sun shirt. I kind of want it. So, we have Freddy. Uh, Freddy. Uh, I'm just going to say this right now. Freddy's A tier. And if someone, nah, and if someone were, were to make an argument putting him in S tier, nah. I could maybe see it, that too. I, I, I can't agree with you just because Freddy got utterly nerfed into the ground. Eh, in my opinion, in. the nerf isn't actually that bad. The uh, speed penalty, I, you can still place all those traps. Down no, uh, just on the matter, just on the matter of the fact that you know he doesn't have his jump ropes anymore, and the fact that he loses a lot of his snares and pallets, I, I gotta put him in B. I, I think before he he still got the pressure of you know like being... he's not pressured like they didn't ch touch his uh gen teleport or yeah, drain projection whatever the fuck like that that's still good nothing's going to change the fact that's a good ability they basically took the fact that they basically took away his free thanatobia th and they nerfed his things it's just I I can't put him anywhere higher than than B um, like, it's it's truly sad yeah. it's truly sad because. I mean, I, I, I still think Freddy is the most boring killer to play in the game. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I hard killer. agree with that. Um, he's but still definitely rework, not bad. Like, still B tier. Before, like... his, before his utter nerf, I would say he was the most balanced killer with the add-ons. Now, his add-ons don't even help him. Seriously. I, 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 none of his... You have to run... Maybe both his iridescents are fine. But, no. Nope. One of his iridescents got nerfed into oblivion. Okay. Defensive Freddy. Alright, defending Freddy time. Uh, I agree with you on most like of your that. points. Uh, we're both in agreement on the Dream Protection. That's still probably the best map pressure ability, yeah, besides, like, Nurse. 
Uh, Spirit, sp Spirit and Demo, uh, and, like, maybe Billy makes a good contestant for that. Map pressure is a really weird thing. Wraith is kind of helpful at that. Demo is pretty good at map pressure. Oni is good at map pressure. Yeah. Uh, I'd say Blight's decent at map pressure. Spirit's good at map pressure. Hag is a fucking unstoppable map but, yeah. pressure. Um, but those are the things we agree on. No, for obvious, I'm not going to talk about Dream Palace because those are those are just for memes. They can be useful, but the survivors are paying attention. Like, okay, um, they're really only for fun. But you're playing as Freddy, and he's not really that fun to play, in my opinion. But Dream Snares, really he only has five now, and he gets slightly slowed when he places them. But I still think they're still extremely useful, especially on like short loops. You can still get pretty good hits if you know how to place them properly. And that's why I, I still think he's A tier, in my opinion. He just didn't need the nerf. Okay, that's good. I'll check yeah, it out. Yeah, he didn't need the nerf. 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to put him in B. I'm open. Yeah. That was the first time we disagreed. But it really wasn't. But it wasn't really that close. We still I, it's had, still we still like B and A. Like, that's still really close. And, like, we still agree that he's good. We still have both agreements. Now, moving on. John, you don't get to speak. Okay. It's pig. It's my turn to speak. All right. I have so many fucking things to say about this motherfucking killer. This is my main. This is my most favorite killer to play. This is who I love. She is the only killer in the game that I have prestige. And the only killer in the game that I will probably ever prestige until, like, Devotion 17. Just because I wanted to show that she's my favorite killer. What's my issue with pig? She is utterly... Terrible at almost everything she does. If she did not have these bear traps, she would be F tier. But bear traps alone put her in C. Oh my gosh, how do I say this? Pig has literally nothing in a chase. She has nothing besides maybe ambushing at pallets, but any survivor with the brain can really depict a fucking ambush at pallets. Now, what does Pig do, do have? She has the most pressuring ability besides tier 3 Michael in the game. And that's her reverse bear traps. Tier 3 Michael is just slightly better on the fact that he's basically he's basically just a lurking presence. You have a lurking presence in your head that can come off. Michael is on a timer. You are on an RNG list. I feel like Michael on a timer might be a little bit stronger than you being on a timer and an RNG because you have a longer timer than Michael does. Then Michael has a shorter timer, which means Michael is going to want to play more pass more aggressively, and you can play more passive with your bear trap. It also isn't activated until you have a Gen Gen done. Now, what makes Pig? What makes me cry about Pig? is that her crouch can be so affected at guy grabbing generators off the first try. Same with Wraith and same with Ghostface, they, their, their stuff can be so good. At first, then it's utterly useless at any point in time for the rest of the game. It is useless. Pig is the only killer in the game that is pay to win because her dark biker outfit is literally harder to see than her other outfits. This is her biker outfit. It is black. This is her main outfit. It is white, it is red, and it is glowing. What the hell? Pig is the only killer in the game that is paid to win. Why? And when you get her biker outfit, she actually becomes smaller. I had to pay, and you know what? They knew they were doing this. They knew it was pay to win. Do you want to know why? To buy Oryx cells. To buy Oryx cells. Let's go to, we're gonna go to buy. We're gonna go to Oryx cells, okay? Right? Oryx cells. Here we go. Ten dollars, eleven hundred. Pigs, I think, is her biker outfit. Is what is it? Eleven, eleven, fourteen hundred or eleven four hundred? I don't just, know. Just, just over ten dollars. Just over ten dollars. So you have to spend more money on her outfit to get it. To get this outfit, you have to spend more money. You just spend $15 at least. 15 at least. To get more money. Look at her other outfits compared to her biker outfit. One's red. A darker red, but it's still red. And pale. One is yellow. Her biker outfit is just black. That is so utterly stupid. And bullshit. Pig is the only killer in this game that has paid to win. I'm gonna go through... I will go through every single outfit for every other killer in the game. And if it's at a fair price, I'll say it's not fair to win. I will go through, I will go through them all right now. We'll go through them all right now. Let's go Trapper. Trapper. None of these really make them darker. None of them. None of them. I don't, I don't see a case for any of these. None of them. Moving on. Wraith. Wraith self killer. None of these make them darker. None of them. Next killer. Billy. None of them make them darker. 
None of them. None of them. None of them. Bring them. Nurse. None of them make her darker. One makes her green. One makes her bloody white. And one makes her purple. That can kind of be useful. But oh, wait. Pigs, the oh, curse is the loudest killer in the game. Oh, okay. Well, what about Hag? None of them make her darker. In fact, her base outfit's probably the best because she's already dark. <laughs> Doctor! None of them! Give him an advantage! Wow! Are they home? I can't tell. Moving on. I got so angry, Dead by Daylight crashed. But you get the point. None of them make him, none of the other outfits, hi Dylan, none of the other outfits in this game make a killer have a pay to win advantage, unlike Pig. I still think Pig is C, but I will never, oh, we're doing a tier list right now, so just quiet. You can join, you can talk after. It's, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. This one's for you. Don't ask. Quiet. I have Emerald here. Emerald, you don't have to say anything on this because you're not a pig player. I don't want you to say anything on this. Next killer, I hate the fact that she's paid to win. I hate the fact that I spent $15 on a stupid outfit. Next killer, Clown. And we'll talk about Clown because I'm so pissed off. Okay, Clown. So, the thing about Clown, he's pretty annoying, sure, sure but <laughs> still, throw a bottle. They'll throw the pallet down early, take it away, and you can kick it. Boom. Uh, someone could say, use your elbow, throw it down at your feet, and then break the pound and once you're done, get the speed boost. That wastes more time than it does saving it. Because you still have to throw it down and then wait, like, I don't know, a whole second. I don't think people realize how much one full second can give a survivor. Uh, the yellow bottles are basically just purple bottles, except they are slightly worse because they can actually help the survivor, if used wrong. Uh, I mean, with Cloud, you can kind of herd survivors to a specific area, but 9 times out of 10, a good survivor is just going to stick to stick to a loop, and then drop the pallet down, and then they get away. And before you know it, survivors will get all the gems done, and you lose. Um, Clown with add -add without add-ons is almost insufferable to play a play against good survivors. I mean, unless you don't care and you just want to play the game for fun yeah, and like, who cares? He's but he's genuinely almost insufferable to play. Yeah. And he is many many people minis. What the fuck? Many pe a bunch of people's contender for the worst killer in the game. I can think of worse, but he is still uh, definitely. He, he's still definitely a bad killer. Which sucks, because, why, because, which sucks, it's kind of like I think it was the first killer I ever, I ever actually bought after like a month of playing this game. Um, and he, and despite all that, he is actually kind of fun. I genuinely want to like him. And I can enjoy him, but he's pretty bad, and he, it was just, because he has like, a bunch of potential. He has insane potential for what his power could be, but his power is just not all that. Uh, yeah, I agree. Power, his power is just underwhelming. He's got no map pressure. He's like a shittier doctor. He can't end chases fast. I'm Clown's actually, uh, in my opinion, Clown is effed here. I, I don't think he's on the level of Trickster, really. I, I, I can't put him in F tier. Personally, I think he's still D. I think there's two killers that are just worse than him, but I'm going to put him in bottom, bottom D. Like, he is just barely above. The only reason I'm going to give him barely above, barely above F tier is that maybe in that one spick moment, you can actually use your bottle effectively. That's it. That's it. Moving on. Spirit. All right. Uh, moving on to Legion. So, here we have Le uh, Spirit. I all right, we... John. All right. All right. I'll, all right. So, okay. So... I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna explain why we spirit test here. Because she's spirit, now fuck off. Yeah, Legion. pretty much. <laughs> uh, above, under nurse, but above hag, S tier. Yeah, uh, um, someone tried to say Odd Star, but just because Odd Star says something doesn't mean it's objectively correct. I don't think spirit's better than nurse. I don't think it's spirit, better. like. Legion. 
I actually got hate on putting Legion in, um, what was it called? I put her in, um, what is it, C? I put her in C, I think. In my opinion, Legion I guess, is that's that where I'm putting her right now. D. And right now, I'm gonna put her in C, uh, on maybe one reason that she, her add-ons are good, but yeah, I think I put her in C. I'm actually so, gonna put Legion, bottom of D. Because the thing is, wow, yeah, you can get shit. easy hits with Legion, but those hits can't down people. He's basically a killer without any power. And the thing is, yeah, it injures people really quickly. But who cares if they're injured? A survivor can still do something. If they have Dead Heart, they might as well be full health anyway. And Dead Heart is basically an extra hit. And more. Like... So you basically, you're basically Trapper after you get the first hit. And we all know how good Trapper is. <laughs> but Trapper, he can do shit with his traps, and actually catch survivors off guard sometimes, and lure them away from loops. Legion can't do that. Like, if a Legion comes running at you, and then stabs you, all Sir has to do is just immediately start mending. What can the Legion do? Either he has to go away and hit the other people to make full use of his power, but then you mend anyway and get back to doing the gen, and he's all the way across the map. Or he cancels his power, but doesn't get the most out of it, because he has to cancel it. And because he cancels it and gets that little, ugh, stun, the spider's gonna run away anyway. And then, like... And I guess you could say, well, it's dead by daylight, so the spiders are gonna heal once they... Like, no, they're not. A good survivor will just ignore healing completely, and then just power through the gens. Quite literally, powering through the pain. Even though pain is non-existent. So the only reason the only, actually no no pain is not non-existent. Legion is pain. <laughs> like it's le the only thing I reason I I think Legion C tier is that Thanatophobia. If Thanatophobia did not exist, I put Legion in F. Legion might be the best killer at stalling out a game besides Plague. But even then, Plague like compared to like. Legion is that plugs up the ability to down. <laughs> Legion doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you know how all the like, other I, killers, the bar like Trickster and Twins, can actually down people. Yeah, take that, add it to Legion, and then take that away because he sucks. <laughs> okay, so take that. Make Legion overpowered when he comes out. All right, and then take that. All right, and then just say, never mind. <laughs> And then I said no, but yeah, I'm gonna put Legion, he puts Legion in D, we both have arguments on it, I put Legion just bottom of C, uh, Legion's like, just, just on the fact that Legion has the ability to stall out the game and can be sometimes a pain in the ass, and really can, he's not, he doesn't have snowball potential, but maybe every once in a blue moon you might have that just barrel, barely, Barely that corner snowball potential. Once okay, I, I will admit, I may be a little biased because I fucking despise going against this killer. And I despise the killer in general. Not to mention the fact that the trailer is extremely misleading and his power is just yeah. extremely lackluster. I may be a little bit biased, but that still doesn't mean I'm wrong. He's still pretty bad. Shut up. <clears throat> Keep being random notifications for shit I don't care about. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I put Legion anywhere higher than C. Maybe I, I, I feel like there's a case for D, like John says, but I think he's just I, I think he's just slightly better than Killer. He's like Clown <laughs> or Chi, whatever the fuck upon it. Cause now we have Tra Trapper, Bubba, and Clown. I'm just I'm putting Legion next to Trap. Okay, Xadio, I'm not putting fucking Legion next to Trapper. Okay, right, Plague. I, I, this is a this is this is why we have an updated killer to this, and this is my opinion on plague. Or sorry, the plague, dude. Sorry about that. Um, it's my new opinion on plague, and you can hate me for it. My new opinion on plague, plague is S tier. I genuinely uh, this is where believe. We want to have the hard disagree. I think plague is S tier. Now here we go. Plague corrupt purge might be the third most. Threatening thing behind pigs, yeah, traps, oh, and yeah. My Myers tier three. Why I think Plague is S tier? Before John gets his opinion on it, Bio Purge is incredibly, incredibly, insanely good at stalling out the game. On top of that, like I said earlier, 
Plague, well, I didn't really say earlier because I only talked about Hag. Plague might be, she's not the best compared to, like, what the fuck is inviting me to play Apex? Now, Plague might not be the best at, um, like, Plague might not be the best at stopping, she doesn't have that much map pressure, we'll say that. But, what she makes up in map pressure, she, if you start singing this fuck, if you start fucking talk, shut up. What she doesn't have in map pressure, she has in a godlike ability to stall out the game and to end chases. Plague might literally be, like, the, the most, but since Freddy got nerfed, I think Plague might be the most rounded killer in the game and might be the best without add-ons, without Freddy now being here. She might be the most rounded killer in the game. Corrupt Purge is in Incredible, almost better than I would think a nurse or a spirit at base. Corrupt Purge is incredible. Vile, Vile Purge is so easy to get to tear up. Vile Purge is so easy to tear up. I'm sorry, you don't need to necessarily just go for Vile Purge. You, you can still M1. But most of the time now, the fact that Plague just has a pull of devotion no matter what, and you are guaranteed a Corrupt Purge, puts her at an insane level. She, her snowball potential is staggering. Almost up there with Myers and Hag. Almost. I don't think it's up there with Myers and Ag yet, but it is so incredible. Her snowball potential is just staggering. <clears throat> I, I, I can't put her anywhere else. If she could not stall out game with Vile Purge, if you fucking, st I swear, if you start fucking chanting again, I will kick your ass. Or maybe not, like, I, I, the fact that she doesn't have map pressure is made up on the, <laughs> God. The fact that she has map pressure is made up on the fact that she could stall out a game so incredibly well. She is what Legion should be when stalling out a game. Legion is not that good at stalling out a game. Plague stalls out a game so incredibly with her broken status effect. The Natatobia is a must on her. I'm still looking for the Natatobia on Plague. I still can't find it. I'm still looking for it. I'm still looking for it. Still can't find it on Plague. Please. <laughs> Plague might be... I, I, I have no words for Plague other than the fact that she is just incredibly, incredibly... I, I, I think she's genuinely S tier. We're gonna hear John's opinion on it, but he obviously disagrees. Okay. Uh, I, I think Plague's S tier. I think okay. she's the most well rounded killer in the game. We got a few more killers to get. So, uh, Plague's S tier? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. about to kick from this party. I'm about to kick you from your own party. <laughs> yes. Okay. No. Plague is not S tier in my opinion. She is A tier. Okay. A tier above Billy, but below Huntress. Let me explain that real quick. Play with with Billy, like the Spiders can still like get lucky and do can still like dodge. With Play, it's Sorry for the basically Shut impossible up, to dodge her uh, shit. Uh, the reason she's below Huntress is because with Plague, when she pukes on you, that just like gets you infected and injures you after about like what is it, 45 seconds to a minute? Yeah, something like that. Forward. With Huntress, like, that's just, a, that's just an immediate injure. But, Plague is still pretty strong. Um, Plague is oppressive. If we're, going up, if we're going off, like, the correct way to play her, like, and I just going up to the survivor, puking on them, and then chasing them normally if they're, like, a good loop or something, you're still going to be wasting a bit of time at that loop, and, John, she's, and she still has to walk around the map. And... Her map pressure is bad because it's not the best because of that. But that all changes with, like, the fact that, for some reason, survivors, they just want cleanse every single chance they get when that's not how you play her. They have, like, a fetish towards it or something. I don't know. Make the game interesting. John, I'm going to convince you to put Plague in Estee right now. Go to Plague on, like, the killer lobby and just start spinning her in circles and tell me that's not the best animation for Estee. Tell me that is not the best <laughs> animation for Estee in this game. Tell me. No, that, that, is, awesome that, is pretty, that is a pretty good animation. SS that is an S tier, tier animation. I'm getting okay, a new tier but... for Plague right now. SSS tier. Okay, but no. Anyway, so... And then, like, once you get Corrupt Purge... Yeah, that's really deadly Billy, and she can get a lot of map pressure because of that. But she doesn't get map pressure because of how easily she can down people with it. Well, that's one of the factors to it. They only because destroyers are just gonna hide, and they because of that they won't be doing anything. Pussies. Not, yeah, basically. But so they're gonna start hiding, and basically that's about a minute of just nothing happening, unless you, like you get luckier, unless you have like whispers or some shit. And, um, besides, you still actually have to go over to the Pools of Devotion, and then charge up them, and then go back to where the survivors are. As far as I'm let's cleanse across the entire side of the map, and then do all the gins over there, and then 
put them on like the left side of the map and all your pulls of devotion for corrupt purge base thing is on the right side of the map. You have to go all the way over there and then all the way back, which that's like at least plus 30 to 50% on a generator, depending on how many people survivors are on it. Yeah, I, I mean, I disagree with a lot of those statements, but you know, that's why we're here. We're here to disagree. But I think Plague's S tier. He thinks Plague's A tier. Uh, Acer's yeah, still like really good though. Like you can't yeah, really complain that does. much. I don't think she's on. I don't think she's on spirits level, but I think she might be around hag level in some scenarios, but not like fully around hag level. But I think she's definitely S tier. I could maybe see that. Maybe. All right, moving on to Ghostface, dude. I get hate for this too. I think Ghostface is actually inferior to Myers because he doesn't have. I'm gonna put Ghostface in C, just so we're clear. Everyone who hasn't been following along at home, Trapper, Bubba, and Clown are D. Pig, Wraith, Legion, and Ghostface are C. Doctor is B. Myers is B. Freddy is B. Huntress in A tier. Billy is in A tier. In S tier, we have Nurse, Spirit, Hag, and Plague. Follow along. All right, so Ghostface. Oh, oh my goodness. Ghostface, what I think is just worse about him is that stealth is really not that good of ability after, like, a first attempt. <laughs> also, Spine Chill exists. In my opinion, the best survivor perk in the game. And, uh... <coughs> to be realistic here, uh, Ghostface does not have the snowball potential of Myers. And that's why I just can't put Ghostface higher than Myers. He needs to have more snowball potential and needs to have a better chase. Don't get me wrong, Ghostface is really good at first, at, like, at starting, at getting, like a, a, like, a starting down. But then, he becomes pretty bad. John, you can maybe explain... Okay. See, First of all, wanna... in my opinion, I put Ghostface in B tier below Myers. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah. So, like, I still think he's worse than Myers. I agree with you on that, but I think he's also B tier and definitely above Wraith. And I don't think he deserves belongs in C tier. With with Ghostface, he has the best stealth ability in the game, just because of how easily it is to use. You just press a single button and you get slowed down for like 0 0.1 seconds. And then boom, you're, you're stealth, basically. And it's really good. Because you can just like hide your red stain mid chase, and that's still good. Even mid chase, you can still crouch down, and that can help a lot. People should do that more often. Crouch mid chase, so survivors can't really see what the hell you're doing. I mean, unless you're on like timber of predation, short, short walls. But. And he probably, and he, and I think his stock is better than Myers. Myers, the, uh, instant down is way better because you can do it for all survivors, and with Ghost Age, you only do it for one single one. And you, they still get a lot of warning beforehand, same thing as Myers. But you can still 99 and get an easy single down. That's really the only thing, reason why I put Myers above Ghost Age, because Myers can have a bigger snowball. With his stalking and insta down. And plus, he's not actually that stealthy. You still kind of, like in tier 2, you still kind of have a normal terror radius. And still have to kind of, like, stalk tier from two, a distance. And then stalking from a distance, you have to get close to the spider, they can see you coming. Yada, 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 all that. And by stalking from a distance, oh, is slower than that. right up their ass. Um. But yeah, I think Ghostface deserves a spot in B tier, Bo Myers. Yeah, I, I think he's just worse than Myers because he doesn't have map control compared to Myers, who might doesn't have map control as well, but has more snowball potential. Um, honestly, though, the difference between Myers and Ghostface was just Ghostface doesn't have ability to fucking... That's what called. That's what called. Um, snowball, I mean, they even knew Ghostface didn't have map like control. Like, one of his personal perks, Stolen Tremors, gives him map control. Like, they knew themselves that Ghostface would not have map control. But I, I, I think Ghostface is C... He thinks it's B, but you know, we're here to disagree. I mean, if we're going off BM potential alone, Ghostface would be like Oh, I mean, Ghostface here, is but... literally, at, like, he is off the charts here if you want to team He's that, basically like... just a survivor with a knife. That's really all he is. Pretty much. All right, next killer. That Demo Gorgon, pronounced by that big black guy that does that shit. Damn me. Damn me. So I think I play a lot of Demogorgon. I really I, I started playing him a lot. I really I really think he's fun. He's one of my favorite killers. I think he's top of B tier. I 
I... Huh. I'm on the fence. I'm either... I, like, I agree with... I, I agree with you. He's pretty good. I'm on the fence, though. It, in my opinion, he's either top of B or bottom of A. For now, I'm going to give him top of B. But that might change once we... By the end of this or whatever. Yeah, his new add-ons are incredible. His new add-ons are... When we were, yeah. when me and John were sitting here reading, reading his new add-ons, we were like, holy shit, that's a buff. That's a buff. Yeah. That's a buff. Like, Life Star Whistle saying? is a very good add-on. Barb's Same Glasses for, is great. Barb's Glasses. Like, if you're not running Barb's Glasses, what the fuck are you doing with What are you doing with your life? Kill yourself. You don't deserve them. Barb's Glasses is good. Like, he's got some very good add-ons now. Um, yeah. What makes Demo really good is that he does have that map pressure. Now, necessarily, you're not using the map pressure 24 7. Is that like a required thing? No, and really Surveyors are still going to close those portals, but I mean, closing portals, that's like a good 5 seconds, which, like, what that's like it good, easily that... about 15 meters of distance. A, 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 for as you. much as you might not think about it, Demo is actually super good at, like, controlling totems. I run. He I've yeah. never gotten Hex Ruin cleansed against him. He's actually incredibly good at controlling Hex Ruin. Mainly the fact that all you have to do is open up your mouth and boom, you can see if they're cleansing. And you just teleport over, stop them. Now, if you're in a chase, it's not necessarily easy. But you, sh I, I feel like a Hex for a, ch a down and pressure is is a fair trade. <laughs> now, um, a Shred is in, is a great ability. Uh, yeah. I'll, I can't say it's one of the best. I think it's a great ability for any... Don't fucking scream at you, you piece of shit. I'll knock like, your fucking teeth out. Shred's a great ability. Shred is, in my opinion, what the pig's dash should have been. A warning to the survivors that you're about to use it, but not like a fucking... <laughs> Instead, they actually have to look <laughs> and actually manage their surroundings and look at you to know if you're going to use it. <laughs> And pig's dash, like it's a. I think they're. I think pig's <gasps> dash is longer, but that forewarning is. is so huge for the survivors. It doesn't matter. With demo, the forewarning, they have to pay attention. So it makes it Sad. that much. It makes it better than pig's dash. It's what pig's Sad. dash should have been. It really should have been. And besides, in the middle of chasing, just... you're charging up your shred, even if it's like one only like half a second. They're gonna have something you still hear your portal the uh you know what demo is killer to me, John? instinct. You know demo so is to like mid chase you killer. get up there near your portal. He, he, he's the out. killer you should base all killers off of. Yes. Like I don't think he's the best well rounded killer, but I, I think no, he's just like he, the most he's mid tier. I think he's, he's the you most still get easily looped in gen rush, like all killers can, except uh, maybe I'm a god tier nurse, but or hag. Hag can't really get gen rush. I feel like uh, demo is just the most but he's like the AR th John, Emily's or uh, uh, AR, or uh, fuck, Dylan, Dylan. He's like the AR thirty three of uh, Dead by Daylight. The AR thirty three, like you know that. He's just like, he's like the what is it called? The R three hundred one or like the AR thirty three or what's another gun? It's the well. It's just the well. It's just the main. Bang bang gun, shooty I mean. shooty. Bang bang shooty shooty. It's like the. You know what, I'm trying to think of an anime representation for it. It's like the season two of My Hero Academia, it's, it's just that. <laughs> like, never seen that show. I've never seen it too, I'm just... It, it's like Attack on Titan season two, it's just like, okay. Never and seen that show either. it gets progressively worse, and then it just goes down and down. I don't know. I like how Attack on Titan went from just being like, "Well, this is fucking awesome." Though. It gets worse and worse and worse. It just get, it just keeps growing. It just keeps going down. It's just like in a spiral of just dog shit, and it's just rolling out of control. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think that's uh, all I really have to say about demo. Moving on, Oni. Oh, this is a killer that I'm also moving out. Uh, from A tier into S tier, which is kind of yeah, weird for bottom people. of S tier in my opinion. But I think Oni is just slightly better than Hillbilly, despite being. <laughs> Dylan, if you say one more thing about a fucking soda, I swear. yeah, sure. Um, Oni basically has the it's equivalent up, of Hillbilly's cooldown, where you have to charge up your power, but that charge up is so easy. This survivor wants them chase him for like 15 Oni seconds, and you got your power. And that power, like, 
it gives him insane map pressure, insane chase potential. Oni can run into walls. <laughs> Oni run into walls. Oni move that bedger. Ha ha ha! Eskir go burp. That's really, I, that's really all I can say about Oni is that Oni, Oni run wall. And besides, Oni like Oni we're, go burp. That's all I gotta say. We're that's Billy's chain. We're Billy's chain. So you kind of have to like guess where the survivors wanna, like juke to. With uh, Oni, Oni, you can kind of do basically a 180. And it's not that hard to guess which direction the starters are going to juke to. Oh, and he's got a fantastic spin around in circles animation. This is great. 23. At the moment. Uh, let's see. 4, 8, 12, 6, 16, 18. Now moving on to 19. Because really, all I can say is Oni's just a, 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 a Billy with more movement. Just a beast. Can't run into walls. Oni... He's basically sexy, the huh? demon. Yeah, now he's got also a really nice snowball potential. Best slinger. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I don't play Apex anymore. So I mean, I, I, I can't even play with you if you get to plot because I don't play Apex anymore. I really just don't enjoy it. I haven't yeah, played that game not. since it came out. Why? Okay, uh, Death Slinger. This is where we're gonna start disagreeing again. <laughs> I think Death Slinger <laughs> is. Right next to him, just an A tier. Okay, get the fuck out of the party, John. Leave, 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 John. Leave, John. Leave. Where do you put Deathslinger? I put him fucking right at bottom, maybe top of C tier. I put him below Pig and C. He is. I. I don't think he's good. Okay. I. I don't know. I'm not that bad of a Deathslinger. He's bite the level. Okay. Despite the level, I'm actually not that bad of a Death Slinger. John would know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually he's pretty decent. I, I, what my issue with Death Slinger compared to Huntress is that every single shot you take, you are forced to reload. It's not the fact that you are required to reload after every single shot. If you did not have to reload, if there was an iridescent add-on that let him have two shots, I'd put him in A. I genuinely would. That would be the best add-on for Deathslinger. But you have to reload after every single shot, which is so utterly <laughs> irritating. It is cost you so much time. I made a meme off this. Okay, I made a genuine meme off this. Why? There's a song where it literally says one bullet in a chamber, and I just I had that little TikTok meme, and it just. It's just, wait, why did he stop moving and the death slinger is just like one bullet in the chamber? Because all he has is one. No map pressure. He's not like Huntress where he can throw hatches across the map. No, you have to be in a chase with him actively. No gen pressure. He is only effective at any chase. It's the problem I have with twins. It's who's better, the death slinger or the survivor. We'll get to twins in a minute. I don't think slinger is good. John, explain your case because I just, I don't think slinger's good. Explain. Okay. Death Singer. First of all, his terror radius is very quiet. With modern abuse, he basically has no terror radius. That's most killers. That's some killers. A lot of killers can do yeah. that, though, John. <laughs> yeah, not really that big of a deal. But with a Death Singer where you have to get close to them to hit them, or sh at least even shoot them, that's pretty good. The thing is, if, the sur if you're chasing a healthy survivor, as long as you hit that first one, it doesn't matter if they stun you or anything. No matter what, the first hit with the, with your, uh, the first reel or spit... Spear, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The first shot, no matter what, it's going to injure the survivor and give them deep wound. Deep wound, not that big of a deal. It's not that hard to just mend real quickly and then get on a gen. Or run. Or yeah. Gen and chase. But the other thing is, it's actually not that hard with Death Slinger to down in a survivor after that first hit. Just even aiming your gun causes the survivor to like, be extremely cautious and on high alert. And most of the time, you can just walk right up to them, and then down them. And if you can't do that, just shoot them. And if they decide to dodge, just predict the dodge and shoot them anyway, and then reel them in and you get an easy down. Because of how quickly he can down survivors, that makes up for his lack of map pressure. Yes, he's 110% one, one movement speed. Yes, he's 4.4, whatever. But he can still, because of the low terror radius he can potentially have, it's easy to get right up to survivor without them running Turn away. The Plus, he's actually... I, I'm not going to say he's hard to see. He's actually not. He's actually pretty easy to see. I don't know why I even started that, but... What's it called? 
Yeah, he can, he can down that survivor uh, really easily and then walk over. Game. Because of how quickly he can down that survivor, he can get to gens faster before they're completed. That That's my opinion on Death Slinger. I think, personally, I mean, I, he's I, below I don't really disagree with a lot of those things, but, you know, we're here to just do the TLS quickly because we're already at 76 minutes. Uh, this video is going to take, like, fucking an hour and a half to upload. So that's, like, an hour and a half I really have to just, when I go to sleep. So I disagree with that. I think his fucking down pressure does not make up for his lack of jam pressure, map pressure, but, you know, agree to disagree, Death Slinger. I put him eh, right below Pig and C. I really think he's worse than Pig. Next killer. Executioner, Daddy, ah! Uh... All right. Uh, um, the head is obtuse angle head. <laughs> the, uh, the acute... I don't know why that's the funny to me. The, uh... Is the, that even an obtuse the, uh, angle? I don't know. The, the I, killer I, that I, can easily geometry. kick the, uh... What's it called? The entity's ass. <laughs> the killer that can make the entity its bitch. Is what it's called. It doesn't have the best spinning animation, to be honest. But, I'm gonna put him in A. Yeah, I agree with that. I put him in A. I don't know if I wanna put him above Plague or below her. I mean, no matter what, he's above Billy. But, I'm. Uh, for now, I'm. 20 gonna... ghastly good twos with this guy? Jeez. In, for now, I'm gonna say above Plague in A. -tier. Honestly, I can't really put, like, Billy in front of. Pyramid. I think Billy and Pyramid are the same to me. I can't put one above the front. So I, I really can't do anything with that. So I just put head behind them, even though I think they're exactly the same, because I can't put them together. But I think Billy and uh, uh, Pyramid Head are the exact same thing. Pyramid Head is a doctor that uh, injures people. Yeah, which, which makes that makes them, like, really good automatically. I, I don't have the best build with Pyramid Head. I have to run fucking Lullaby. There's a punishment. Like, what, what, is it actually, what is that actually called? Yeah, punishment. Punishment of the Nand. Yeah, just punishment. Oh shit. Basically, oh. fuck you. You're 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 yeah. annoying. I'm annoying. Just now. put that in the ground. Even though you get slowed after you, if you cancel it, who cares? It's, that slow is barely going to do anything. You're still going to be able to get. I mean, I guess they Other could killers. potentially Other get killers to a window literally or have to pallet. <laughs> but even is, once they get to that is... window or pallet, oh just put your punt, put your knife in the ground again. They'll either run away or you'll get a hit. Oh my gosh! This is a perfect organization of uh, executioner. Um, how, how to? What, what makes executioner good compared to other killers? Other killers, some killers trapper have to set up. You know, Bob has to find choice. How to play pyramid head? Walk. <laughs> and his Walk. cages are actually pretty useful. If like all survivors like crowd around your area, if you know for a fact that no one's on the complete opposite side of the map, just like well, cages survivor. If you sit around them, they do teleport away from you. Yeah. Uh, these is pretty good. Yeah, I'd give him a strong A tier. Here, that's good. Strong A. Uh, we're kind of powering through these last few now. Yeah, I just want to get done now. I'm fucking done. <laughs> Alright. Blight. Besides, um, these last few, I don't really have enough to say anyway. Blight. No, Blight, there's really nothing to say. I'm, uh, he, since this is Xbox, I'm gonna. If this was maybe uh, PC, I'd If this give was him PC, I would, put him, I would put him in B tier. If this is Xbox, I'm gonna put him at C tier with, uh, Rafe. I, I disagree heavily with that. If this was Xbox, I'd put him in A. I mean, if this was PC, I'd put him in A, but right now I'm gonna put him in B. I think Blight... I'm not I'm not thinking of a Blight, and yet even I can still snowball a Blight. The fact that Blight has movement, and that he came with a personal perk that stops pallets, thank God. I mean, I, I mean that's, that's three enough for me, really. <laughs> but, I really don't have Actually, no, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna put Blight above, uh, in B tier above Michael. I think Blight, just because, yeah, I put him, like, right between, I put him behind Demodago, but not above. Just because Blight, I think, has the ability to just move around and, oh my gosh. I, am I, I think, Blight I think. just being able to. I, I think Blight's, uh, rush is the fastest a killer can get without add-ons or perks or anything. I think Blight's uh, rush is faster than faster. a chainsaw and hill faster. Technically, tech. Okay, but I uh, don't. Technically, Nurse is the fastest because during her blink, she moves the fastest. Technically. Technically, but. But you mean we're talking about like wait. Blight is actually can be super scary, especially if you're like if you throw down a pallet in his face and all of a sudden, it's gone. You're like, uh oh. Like <laughs> playing against an unpredictable scary. Blight is actually kind of terrifying. You don't know because what they're going to bump blight. into, there's, there's a where killer, they're going to go after that bump, or anything like uh, that. Just look up best blight. Just be look up best blight. That by daylight. 
There's this there's add-on on Blight where every single time you get a successful rush, you get all your to uh, tokens back. That might be his best add-on in the game. To get a successful rush and instantly have all your tokens back, if you're a good Blight, it is over. Yeah. Blight, compared to some killers, Blight literally, like, let's say, let's say someone's running towards a jungle gym. You, all you have to do is activate your ability and you can instantly get a hit there before you get to step out a window. You might instantly have a hit on Blight. A lot of other killers can't say they can do that. Nurse can do that, sure. Hack can do that. Trapper sometimes? Um, a lot of other killers besides me, Doctor, cannot say that. Someone that can't say that? Bubba. Just for the reference. Um, a lot of other killers can't say that they can, like, have the potential to just instantly get a hit. Most times that have not, Blight has the potential to get a, Like, he might be one of the... Uh, out of all, everything we've said today, this might be sound hypocritical to some things we said earlier, but he might be the best killer... Besides, maybe a stealth killer to start a um, to start like a chase and get a hit. To get a starting hit, Blight might be one of the best killers to do that. Now, do it being Xbox, his movement is a little bit more funky, and his movement can still be kind of weird. Uh, even though they fix it, it's still kind of weird. The main but, thing that makes him beat here on console is just the fact the um, the disadvantage of console and it, and looking yeah, around and moving six, being six, from yeah. a stick. But if he's uh, saying, I mean, just the like, fact that he can jerk see your arm around, makes, it, boom, makes me turn to one complete see. 360. I think, that's good enough. I think the fact that he can see is good enough. <laughs> I think the fact that he can actually see things now, his FOV is increased. I don't like that. Okay, beats here for play. Oh fuck me! I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Okay. <laughs> All right, John. Twins. We have the twins. I'm just gonna say this right Roses now. Are, no, 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 no! Roses are red. Bowits are blue. I don't care. He got 200 wins. They're still F tier. Fuck you. <laughs> the okay. twins are F tier. Fight one more me. doom. Uh, spoiler alert: the only three killers I can want to have an F tier are twins, clown, and trickster. Those are the only three killers I have an F tier. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this: twins, top of F tier. Trickster, bottom of B tier. Or F tier, F tier, F tier. Trickster, bottom of F tier. Nowhere near B tier, God no. Um, one of the, twins. Um, one of the Admittedly, I don't play the twins that often, but I have at least played her, them, whatever you want to say, enough to know how bad twins. she is. He has adept twins. I mean, that's good enough for me. So, um, why I think twins is better? Why, why, why I think twins is just god awful? One of the arguments I heard is Victor is incredibly impressive. He's not. No. He's genuinely he's not. Yeah, is not he's, impressive. he's fast and he's actually he's actually pretty fast. Not gonna lie. He's fast. But, but that's it. That's it. He's all he is is fast. If, it, if, it, if you manage to get if you manage to pounce on a survivor and then you attach them and they don't go down, you attach themselves to you. Then the survivor can only take like five seconds. But odds are you're on the complete opposite side of a Charlotte, just sitting there twiddling your thumbs, wanking yourself. <laughs> What I've heard, what I've heard from some people is that, oh, he's, she's super good at body blocking. Yeah, she is. And when you know, someone's injured, you usually have Victor back, you can call him back, and you start chasing again. But the thing is, is that this is she's the problem I have block. with Deathslinger. Here's the problem I have with Deathslinger. It becomes a who is better, the killer or the survivor. And then it becomes a, oh, wait, there's four survivors, one killer. So play as a killer at rank one, you can't just be slightly better. Okay, as the twins, or as a, I, I'm a pig player. I know bad killers when I play bad killers, okay? As you can't just be a. Like, you can't just be like a slightly better twins. No, you have to be an astronomically better killer as twins to win games. You have to be better. There is literally no other option. You have no option. Some killers, you can be slightly worse and you can still win some games. Nurse, Spirit, Hag. As twins, you cannot be worse by an inch. You have to be not slightly better. You have to be better you literally have to 100 percent of the time be smarter and better or victor will go down and you are now running with the killer around charlotte alone is probably the least intimidating thing in the world she's just an m1 victor is not that intimidating whatsoever even out victor, in the open it's kind of it's not that hard to dodge victor victor is and even really and then easy to even a short wall loop drop the power and victor can't do shit is like impossible I said, I put, to hit for Victor. I, I don't lose with a pal twins. drop pallet. I put a lot more games against Twins. I mean, you know, I would say out of the 30 to 40 games I played against Twins, because I put a lot more against Twins now recently, a lot more. I would say I've been four kid twice. Admittedly, twice. I've only played against the Twins three times. 
Well, it's just because but I that, by like, playing her, I kind of trying to drink one. I, I have like, I felt like I played like, stopped, like, 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 like when we stopped anything, playing like but... like the time like executioner came out the next like like by the time twins came out I kind of just like grinded the game like a lot to get rank one I just played against twins and twins and twins twins because they're new killer and I, and I played probably about 30 40 and I just kind of dropped off and then started playing the game a lot more but twins I just don't think are oppressive whatsoever Victor is uh, Victor does not have map control I'm gonna say right there Victor does not have map control he does not. I refuse to say Victor. And the whole thing about Charlotte being able to body block, like, yeah, she can body block, but who cares? Just go around. Not that hard. Do you know what else? Do you know what else is a body block? Body blocker hag. Is body blocker hag good? Not really. No. Not really. She's actually pretty bad. When you're expecting, when you're expecting what a twin, a twins are so it's like really one play style. And that's a rush down, you know, beat down. Twins have to beat down. So. I mean, he, she can't, Victor cannot shut down any other loop. I get this, it's completely shut down any loop besides Jack. No, he can't. Snowball easy. Sure, he can jump through windows, no, but the survivors won't have enough time to go over there and kick him in the face. So what? He could not shut down any loop. Name, he cannot shut down Jojo James. He cannot single-handedly shut down I loops. Cannot singly shut down TNLs. Cannot singly shut down, um, short, short, um, Short and long walls cannot singly shut down just normal pallet loops like one pallet between two rocks. You cannot simply shut those down. No. no. Twins have an active power. Yeah, a lot of people have active power. Twins do not have map pressure. They do have downing potential, but every other killer in the game has downing potential. Even Trickster has downing potential. Everyone has downing potential in this game. Seriously, one killer right now that does not have downing potential. Tell me. Exactly, you can't. Because every killer in the game has a weapon. Which I I, I genuinely cannot. I, I, when someone I, tells me twice, I respect. This, when I saw that I respect Ot's most of the streamers in this game, Ot Starva included, but Ot Starva. It's just twins and S tier. Like that's what he did, right? I'm 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 not, I don't have a, brain damage. Someone else put him in S. You put him in A, and someone else put him in S. Like, a really other problem. Oh, oh, Twins is not oh, S. Because someone gets 200 wins with a killer, doesn't mean they're good. Ott's got 36 win with Trickster. Does that mean he's good? Ott's got 50 with Trapper. Does that mean he's good? No. And to most of the community, Ott's got 35 wins with Myers. Most of the community thinks Myers is shit. Does that make Myers good? To most of the community? No. No. Doesn't mean anything. If I go, if I go in a subway, and jerk off and say this one's the truth. Does that mean anything? No. The oh, fuck? It was in a weird representation. No. I can be the world's greatest dead by daylight player to get the world. What if I get 500 wins in a row with Trickster? Would that make Trickster a good killer? Absolutely no. Absolutely not. It would not. It wouldn't even make him close to a good killer. It would not meet Trickster a good From my killer, perspective, wins in a row, blue. like, that's just you getting lucky with bad survivors. I mean, unless you're, like, getting, like, a bunch of wins in a row, like, I'm, like, an S-tier, A-tier a -tier killer, because then, like, yeah, that killer's just good. Especially I, I, if, I don't know like, nurse, but... what some people have to say about them. I don't think he has map pressure. I, I just don't think Victor's... Victor is not oppressive whatsoever. Genuinely. Victor's not oppressive. I will say that right now. Victor isn't oppressive. You can disagree with me all you want, but that's my opinion on it, and that's Sean's opinion on it. Easy yeah. F tier for both of us. Victor Ding dong, your opinion is wrong. Ding dong, your opinion is wrong, exactly. Well, she will actually take that seriously, but whatever. And almost literally every other killer in this game is an active power. Hell, Myers is technically active power. Everyone's killer can be activated, have an activated power instantly, unless it takes a cooldown like Ghost Face Spirit. I mean, Ghost Spirit doesn't have an active power, does Spirit Pod? No. Because Spirit can face. Myers is. <laughs> and Victor does not have the ability to snowball unless every survivor is injured. And honestly, any other killer can do that if every survivor is injured. Maybe besides Trickster. But in reality, if every survivor is injured, anyone can snowball. Speak of the devil. I think it's time we finally Speak go to the last of the one. Devil, I refuse to even click his profile, his killer portrait. After Trickster. getting adept on him, I'll I just refuse to ever play I'll have you know. I'll have you know. Let's, let's just have a wonderful game. John tried to get Trickster adept for how long? I think it was hours. 17 hours, hours, games. Hours. No, three hours. Three hours straight. Yeah, we were doing three a three hours hour stream. Straight. He tried to get twins. He tried to get Trickster Depth for three hours. I got Trickster Depth my first game. 
<laughs> Admittedly, I'm not hours. a good trickster player at all. But I'm then again, even if I was a I'm good a trickster player, player, that doesn't that doesn't help change the fact that he's bad. I don't agree with Scott John on his opinion of trickster. Trickster has no map pressure, no chase pressure, no Johnny pro. Trickster has nothing, and anybody that disagrees with that, he's just gotta be on some drugs. I Scott said that he's gonna down you no matter what. Yeah, any killer in the game can really no matter like down. Main you event what. is utterly useless, almost. Main event has to be, if, unless it activates at the right time, it, it's dog water. He has to activate at the right time, at a specific time, at the right time. If you're gonna hit you dog water. Very exactly. Trickster is. I feel bad, cause I I, I I think Trickster's idea is cool. I've always want I, I I've always pitched ideas. John knows. I'm like, dude, throwing knives would be so cool in this game. I've chilled John so many times. Like, I want throwing knives in this game. That'd be awesome. But they did such a bad, like, job, with the throwing knives. He, he, they're not oppressive. Like, what I think Trickster needs to have. I I feel like this would be a good idea. Is that Trickster should have three throwing knives, and every single time he throws a throwing knife into somebody. Or four. So you just have four. It starts to injure them, and it now shows their aura across the map. And you can only throw one throwing knife per person. I feel like there should just be like a lock onto things. Like it won't like injure them again. Like I feel you like that'd like be cool. The knife I feel like that'd be really cool. No, no. I feel like I should just show their aura across the map. They would have to take it out. They have to take it out, and then but once it's time to take it out, you know, you can maybe hit them with another one. But like, I feel like that'd be a cool. I feel like that'd be cool. It kind of sounds like Huntress, but I feel like you could make it separate from Huntress. I feel like you could really make it separate from Huntress, and the fact that. Huntress is like a or like you're like an or like a I mean, killer. I mean, own or maybe oh, oh, fucking Oni and maybe Billy are almost the same thing, except one's make better than trickster. the other. But yeah. make Trickster, but like maybe give him like all of his nice, but like just maybe maybe make it so just so like it's throwing nice as you see their or throughout the map. I don't really know. Give him a new idea because I just think Trickster's bad. Right now. Trickster's terrible. Yep. I, I genuinely can't see a case for Trickster. Sorry. I think that concludes the tier list though because it's been 93 minutes. Oh God. Wow. You think this and they had to sit through my annoying ass squeaky high pitched voice? <laughs> you think this uh, TLS is gonna get as much hate as my last one? Uh, I don't know. I, I generally right, don't know. In case you haven't been following along, I'm going to redo the killers one more time, last one last time, and you can. I will actually have a pinned comment showing you which killers are which. Twins in Trickster, Clown, Bubba, and Trapper are D. C is Pig, Death Slinger, Wraith, Legion, and Ghostface. B. Demogorgon, Blight, Dr. Myers, Freddy, Huntress, or sorry, A tier, Huntress, Billy, the Head, Pyramid, and S tier, Nurse, Spirit, Hag, Plague, and Oni. That is my opinion. If you think Twins is good, you can go live in your fairy tale land. You're on some drugs. We might be live by the time which goes up. But follow me on SOS Voices if you want to really argue with me live. I'll argue with you live. <laughs> but that is all. If you really sat here for 90 minutes, you're on some drugs. What the hell is wrong with you? You need to go outside. Thank you for watching, and I will see you gamers later. I hate rank reset. I'm stuck at rank 8. Gotta go get my rank 1 back. On Survivor. Just kidding. Probably not gonna go Survivor. Later, gamers. Oh my gosh! Why are we sitting